Hey yo, what's goody? All my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U with your boy J Nuck over here at Huganucka. And today I got a brand new review for all of you. It's been highly anticipated, long awaited. I tried to give you a tutorial on how to use it properly or the best way that I thought to use it. Uh, anyways, we're going to be reviewing the Cloud Vitria Bowl. So. First and foremost, this is from the makers that brought you the Cloud Lotus. They also brought you the Cloud Samsaris Bowl. And now, here we are today with the Vitria. Now, one thing I want to point out. In my tutorial video, I pulled the sides up way too far. I covered these vents. And uh, as some of you know, I had a little rant on Facebook and the hookah enthusiast page where my coals are blacking out. So um, it's been brought to my attention that it's because I covered up the vents. However, I didn't understand this concept because I said, well, there's vents here. There's plenty of airflow and whatever, but the way the uh, Lotus was designed was for these vents not to be covered up. So I did mention that in the description of my tutorial, but visually it didn't really come out like that. So if any of you followed that tutorial and did not read the description, I do apologize, but I'm here to tell you, make sure you don't cover these vents up. Now I was having a problem with it locking into place. Obviously that's not the case right now. I will say though, it is rather frustrating to get this locked into place when it's wet or when you're trying to get it locked into place and your lotus dips into the tobacco and gets glycerin all over it, then it gets really slippery. And if it's not dry, it doesn't really lock into place all that well. So that's gonna be my first gripe about it. But let's go ahead and get into the bowl and what it actually is. Now this is going to be a, I basically consider this a glass bowl because that's, that's the, the heart of this bowl. Um, this is merely just like, um, if this is your smartphone, this is your protective case over it. That's all this is, and it's a way to connect it to your hookah. Cool thing about this bowl, I mean, it's silicone, so it doesn't require a grommet, right? And um, I don't know what purpose those serves. I think it's just a design, not the extra little holes. But you basically, you know, can fit that right onto your hookah. You're good to go. Um, here's a look at what you, what you're working with on the inside. And I apologize for the water spots. I just cleaned this, but, um, your bowl is just going to sit in here like, so your glass bowl. Now let's get into the bowl a little bit. You're going to notice that there's these little like grooves in there, these little fan turbine mimicking type of grooves in here, if you will. Um, it's going to be similar to the Samsaris in that I believe that works with heat management, um, just allows uh, your your uh, tobacco to heat up a little bit differently and more evenly, and it's going to be a funnable style type bowl. So uh, that's a really cool concept. I know everybody um, is saying that with this bowl, you could just use this part and put it inside of like a watermelon or some type of fruit. But um, I think Huga John said this too, and he makes a great point. Like, what's the point of doing that? If you're using a fruit bowl, the whole purpose is to kind of get the flavor of that fruit. So I don't see myself, I mean, first of all, I don't really do fruit bowls to begin with, but I don't see myself uh, using this inside of it if I was to make one, because to me that doesn't make sense. Like it defeats the purpose of a fruit bowl, but that's just my opinion. But uh, other than that, this is going to be uh, different than any other glass bowl that I've ever seen. So that's pretty unique. Um, as far as smoking out of it, when I did you know, realize how to set it up correctly, um, it does smoke great. Uh, I don't find it to smoke revolutionary um, or relatively any different than any other you know particular bowl out there the big takeaway from this is that uh it's the heat management system it just how well it works with the lotus i think that's the big takeaway from it but you're not gonna get you know any special kind of smoke or clouds from it it's just gonna smoke like any regular bowl pretty much funny funnel bowl at least so anyhow um like i said this is gonna be like your smartphone and this is your protective case so you basically just, you know, roll this on up 
And, um, you know, there you go. You have your bowl. If it drops, for the most part, I think this protective silicone case is going to protect your bowl, but I wouldn't recommend dropping it. Don't do a hookah, John, and, and take the glass bowl out and drop it onto the floor. It's going to shatter. It's still glass. But, uh, you know, with, when it's inside this case, it should be pretty well protected. Another thing that this is going to offer is that you could touch this. And, uh, you know, if you want to change your bowls out, you're good to go. Now, a dislike, you know, if you are uh, a Lotus user, some people like myself like to preheat their Lotus. Not for very long to where it's going to damage it, but just, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. You're not going to be able to do that with this bowl or you won't get, if you try to do that, you're not going to get the proper, it's not going to function properly for you. So I don't recommend you preheating it. Another dislike I have is if you smoke this and if you're like me, you smoke one round of coals and you want to switch the flavors, you're going to have to get a whole new setup. You can't reuse this you know, right away. You're going to have to wait till it cools down and all that stuff. And who wants to wait? You just want to smoke, right? So that's something I did, I did not uh, care too much for about this. Um, the other thing is just with the Samsaris, the Lotus, you know, you just put it in there, give it a couple taps. That was terrible. So let's try that again. You just put it in there, give it a couple taps, and boom. Simple. But with this one, it just, it's, you know, I, uh, give it a couple taps. Is it going to work? No. Like, I just, it seems like it's such a long process just to get this to lock into place, and I don't really like that. But once you get it in there, I mean, it does lock into place. So, I don't know. I just, a lot of people have commented that it seems like a lot of work just to smoke, whereas you can just wrap something with foil, throw coals on it, and get going. So, I mean, every product has its, you know, ups and downs, its pros and cons. But, um, I mean, it does work. Your coals are going to last long, like, you know, like they do with the Lotus. And it's just, with the way this is designed, it's supposed to be the ultimate heat management system. And it does serve its purpose. It's just, you know, I don't know if, I, I think I like the concept more of the Samsaris bull versus the Vitria just because, you know, it just seemed more easy. You know, you packed it, you put your Lotus on there, and you were good, and it wasn't a struggle. You just, boom, it just seemed a lot easier. But the drawback with the Samsaris was that the, uh, as you can see in there, the silicone would deteriorate, you know what I mean, after a while, and... Nobody wants to smoke uh, melted silicone. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and load this up and uh, show you some examples of how it smokes. So we'll be right back. All right. So before I put the coals on there, I just wanted to show you what I'm working with. I packed it up. I have some haze, uh, pineapple crush, and uh, some pure FML in here. And I pretty much just packed it below the fill line. If you could kind of see that, a little semi-dense. I didn't force it down, just barely pushed it down. And uh, let me wipe this down a little bit. Okay, let's hope we can get our Lotus to lock into place. Give it a twist. See, this is what I don't like. It's... This is tedious. This is too much. I can't even get the... It keeps slipping out. I never had this problem with the Samsaris. And if I do it the way that I showed you in the tutorial, I can do that. Let me try that. Because this... I mean, look, it's not even locking into place. So let me do it the other way. I'll be right back. All right. I think I finally got it in. Don't fall out. Okay, boom, locked into place. So uh, let me go ahead and put my coals in here. And I just wanted to show you guys how it was all packed. And uh, yeah, once you finally get it locked into place, should be good. Again, make sure your vents are not covered or your coals will black out. Believe me, I know. We'll be right back. <clears throat> all right, so I had to switch views on you real quick so you could see what I'm smoking out of. Obviously, the Vitria Bowl. Um, I've had it going for about a good six to eight minutes, and I am smoking out of my Omar Violin Chiller. Uh, I got three Dashini Flats in here. Lotus, obviously. 
dream hose with a Dashini tip. So show you what I'm working with so far. All right, so I'm getting some pretty decent smoke. Um, not the biggest clouds I've ever gotten, but definitely great clouds. Um, they're definitely Stormtrooper approved, so thumbs up on that. Good job, Cloud. Uh, another plus I could say about the Vitria while smoking it, uh, you don't get any type of silicone taste at all. You're never going to get that because it's a glass bowl. The heart of it is a glass bowl. So uh, that's definitely a big thumbs up. Uh, you saw how I had it packed. So I don't think I'm going to have to worry about tobacco sticking to my Lotus. So that's also a good plus for easy cleanup. But uh, I'm getting good flavor, uh, smooth smoke, and yeah, it's smoking pretty well. So other than the setup, I mean, this is actually a pretty good bowl. Um, it's just, you know, the setup that really gets me. And a lot of people ask, why do you preheat your Lotus? And the only reason I do that is so my coals don't black out in the beginning while everything's getting heated up. Usually my Lotus is pretty cold. It's winter time out here. So the coals, you tend to kind of have to baby them and blow on them and make sure you get that flame and keep them going until the unit really heats up and then it really is self-sufficient. But before then, if you don't preheat it, even just a little bit, you know, you have to really baby your coals. At least that's what I've found. And not just with the vitriol bowl, that's just with the Lotus in general. So yeah, that's my review on the Vitrio Bowl. Would I get it? Um, I'm a little indifferent on it, to be honest with you. Like I said, it was a lot of work, a lot of extra work. It's not too much work, but it's a lot of extra work that I'm not normally used to doing when I set up a hookah, um, you know, to be able to preheat my Lotus or just throw on foil on a bowl. I would have been able to get smoking a lot faster and probably achieve better clouds. So that's just my opinion. This may be perfect for what you're looking for, so I definitely do encourage you to try it if this sounds like you know, something that you're about, that you really like, you're into it. It looks fantastic. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, it, it looks very sexy. Just the, the, whole, the whole process of getting everything set up was not something that I really cared for, but it functions excellent. And uh, I'm going to keep smoking this for a while. We'll come back to show you if um, the coals black out or how the smoke fares, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back and we'll wrap it up, so one second. All right, so I had to change views on you again, but uh, I'm a little bit deeper into the session, I'd say about a good 20, 25 minutes, and uh, check out the clouds. So between the time that uh, I had the camera off, I did have to baby my coals one more time. I blew on them until I got that flame back. But ever since then, um, you know, my, ho my Lotus has definitely heated up and uh, the session has been going excellent. As you can see, the clouds are even better. So that's good. They got better within, within the time. So that's excellent. Um, overall, this is, a, this is a good bowl. It serves its purpose. It functions well. Smokes great. You don't taste any silicone. That's a big plus. And uh, it, it's a pretty good bowl. Um, I don't know if it's one that I'm going to be using heavily in the rotation, but I'm definitely going to use it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, Cloud, I guess this is actually an improvement smoke-wise above the Samsaris. As far as the, the fit of the Lotus and everything, I, I wish there was a way you could find it to fit like you did on the Samsaris. But, you know, we can't have it all. So uh, this definitely smokes better than the Samsara. So good job on the improvements with that. So I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you want to check this out and try it for yourself, it's available over at 5 Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boy. And if you want to get a discount on anything not on sale, just type in my discount code. It will be located in the description below for those of you that don't know it. 
And uh, that's going to wrap up this review. So I'm going to take you out properly. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comments below. And I'll holler at you on the next review. Deuces.